dear viewers welcome to finite element analysis in this video we are going to see the gas study on how to interpret fa finite element analysis finite element method present always check the displacement plot first and animated the deformation see from the different aspect be relaxed don't be in a hurry to jump to the stress plot close your eyes and try to visualize how the design should deform as per defined load and boundary condition match your engineering imagination with the software zone deformation larger deformation for linear analysis or logical movement of design assembly indicate something wrong in result don't believe in if your result blindly always believe in your engineering judgment ask yourself how and why questions let's say why i am getting deformation at this location but i applied force at different location whether the deformation shapes and values make sense and are in the line with your engineering judgment structural design verification check the following steps we have to follow first step yielding analysis in the yielding analysis initial check is ensure the yielding is not pressure or is within the acceptable limits if the yielding occurs assess if the plastic deformation are within acceptable tolerances second step stability analysis perform buckling analysis check for stability issues in the structures third step deformation assessment verify deformation ensure model deformation are sufficiently small the fourth step is additional check tailor analysis consider other specific task based on the nature of your project or component such that fatigue and vibration etc remember that through the structural design require a multi phased approach to ensure safety and reliability if your design is symmetric then you should get symmetric deformation contour plot but if you are not getting then why is this show is it because the mesh is not symmetric or any other reason check and recheck the result over stated displacement plotted animate to see the result properly is my animation plot movement making sense check near the contact location they way i defined my contact is working or not check the reaction forces moment residual strain energy norms and force converging graph also check the converging test check for stress plot post to process the relevant stress plot first such as one is stress plot is suitable for ductile material and principal stress plot is suitable for brittle material but also check all the stresses in case of any doubt on the result or in case of finding an actual case of high stress value at critical location in this slide we are seeing that just note apart from the fact that above graphic looks colorful plot it has little do that if you outcome it is just a stress contour plot all right then let's check how to approach a few outcome step by step this is the step most people internally use after all yeah 
one misses contour plot must be the most checked thing when it comes to fa outcome and there is a good reason for that after all stress is the best measure how much upset how much value is deformation your model take with all the load if you are applied there are lot of various stresses plotted csss normal stress one mean stress principal stress but also the normal stress here are principal stress just to name a few all of the, those do something for sure i mean if you would not who would bother to implement into the post processor firstly let's deal with the customer point of view or viewers favorite one miss stresses stress state in any given point of your model is a rather than complicated thing stress tensor we want link contain mathematics has nine components after all and all those describe the situation in a single spot of your model this is a lot of information mainly it is also overwhelming me to analysis all the time truth is that your material will fail due to the yielding for example under different condition you cannot say that any component of stress tensor is acceptable as you need to take into all nine of them to be able to say if the spot failed or not what is this do seeds that it combine all the nine component into one value and misses this value in mega pascal is a scalar quantity you can directly compare it against the yield strength of your material this is one click wonder if you want to quickly check if the material failure will occur note that for critical material greater is better it is obvious we will use it in interpreting fa outcome after all we can plot van mis stress instantly see if our material will fail or right check for stress plot post to process the relevant stress plot first such one mis stress plot is suitable for ductile material and the principal stress plot is suitable for brittle material but also check all the stress in case of any doubt and the result are in case of finding an actual case of highest stress value at critical location keep a sharp focus on region where the stress is gradient are large and check whether the localized stress region or near corner holes contact faces are at a constant location if a high local stress occurs near the region of interest apply the finer mesh adaptive mesh with a mapped element or keep two rows of element layer near the holes or a fill at the keep at least three rows of element ignore the localized stress on the corner or hole corner nodes by doing annual probing probes at many location nearby and use of engineering judgment to predict axial stress that's why we are using a design for manufacturing concept for all the common on design this is this is not a yes, simple if in your entire ma- model is one mistress or lower than the yield then you can win and and also you can you should really optimize your model unless there is a good reason to keep everything in a elastic range most likely however you will get stress higher than yield in linear analysis the easiest way to understand why is to take a look at that stress strain chart of the typical ductile material like steel notice that 
the green part marks the linear independence between stress and the strain in your material this means that the linear analysis assumption are fulfilled simply put all work is nicely at this point it is great to understand how fa work what is going on your model the phase it have three phase the first phase is your solver searched for proper deformation of the model under loading condition phase two having the deformation of the entire thing <coughs> the solver can calculate strain in all the place relative deformation of the each small element the third phase having a strain stress can be calculated since the relationship between strain and stress is given in the material property linear relation in our case as you can see the plot the solver is still try to apply the linear law even the strain is outside of the region outside the linear zone as can be easily observed this means that stress can be much higher than the yield value sometimes tens of hundred times higher if the strain is high enough this make interpreting the stress a bit difficult in linear analysis does the stress is higher than yield equal to failure why small region with the stress higher than the yield rarely means failure in fatigue analysis where you enter low cycle fatigue in such a case assume the stress higher than the yield appears both in tension and compression that is that most of the case an instant failure even though you may interested in designing stuff for low cycle fatigue the approach one is hand calculation important things about hand calculation in stability there are two kinds we have to consider for stability design first one is help you to calculate helps to calculate the ideal critical load this can be a force stress for uniformly supported cell etc those are great and helpful but they are not the final outcome of the design second approach is practical design approach you take the above values then apply various procedure for them those often use buckling curves or other parameters derived from real life experiment most structural design relations use those and this is what you should use in your design the approach to is linear buckling analysis linear buckling analysis is a finite element method technique used to assess the structural stability under applied load the objective of linear buckling analysis is determine the critical load factor and which the structure becomes unstable potentially buckling or analysis collapsing key component for linear buckling analysis material properties <coughs> consider material behavior under load geometric information account for initial geometry condition boundary condition also so what is the difference between linear and non linear buckling linear buckling assume a small de uh, deformation and linear material behavior non linear buckling consider large deformation and material non linearity application of linear buckling analysis commonly used in aerospace industries civil engineering and mechanical industries automotive industries ensure safety and stability in various structures and components interpreting result critical load factors indicate the load level at which instability occurs mode shape visualize the buckling modes to understand the behavior linear buckling analysis is a valuable tool for predicting structural behavior and optimizing design for stability thank you for watching my finite element q
case study on interpreting result